I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 306, where I'm going to show you how to export to CSV with a script and include headers on that export. This is in response to a question sent in to me at QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com by Walter. And this is just a shout out to Walter for supporting the, the Quantrix community and asking me a question. And I'll give a shout out to you and I'll try to answer your question if you will ask me one at Quantrix30 at gmail.com. So please do that. It's a free service. You can ask Walter. He'll tell you that I did it for free. Anyway, we have a basic model here. And if you go to back to episode 0149, and I'll include a link uh, to that video here in this video. But if you go back to that video, you'll see where I was able to export, uh, via, export to CSV via script from Quantrix. And that script is shown right here on my screen where I have a sales matrix and I want to go ahead and I want to export it out to my desktop. Well, what Walter would like to do is he would like to export this, but he wants it to include headers. So how do you do that within Quantrix? Well, I would go ahead and type in model.export delimited text dot only views. And as you can see, as I step through it, it provides some uh, prompts for me. So I'd try to follow those as best I could to ensure proper syntax. And I want to export the sales matrix. So I go ahead and I surround that in uh, pipe characters or bars. And then come out here and I want to export it. But before I do the export piece, actually, I also want to hit include column headers. If I wanted to include row headers, as you could see in the drop down, I could include row headers as well, but I'm going to include the column headers. That is what he desires. And then I would put dot export and CSV path. And that CSV path is defined up here in my script. And this is where I want it to export on my PC. If I go ahead and I do this, I go ahead and hit enter you would see, if I were to bring it up on my desktop, here's my desktop, I guess. I'll show you what I have there. If I were to bring that up, you can see that sales export indeed was added to the bottom of the list, just as I would expect. So that's how you do it. You go ahead and you use a, a general export like I showed you in episode 149, and then instead of hitting just dot export with my path, I hit dot include column headers. This is case sensitive and I do dot export and then I identify my CSV path. Walter, I hope that answers your question. I also hope it answers many other questions <clears throat> or many other people who have the same question, if you will. And if you have any questions about Quantrix, you know, I really want you to reach out to me at QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com and ask me that question. And I want to make you a Quantrix master, and I hope that you will join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. Today's podcast is brought to you by QuantrixAuthority.com. I love Quantrix, and I want to make you a Quantrix master.